lots of different ways of gathering original data, such as running experiments or building models, but sometimes you need to get data from people through running a survey or questionnaire. There are lots of free tools out there to run surveys like SurveyMonkey or even a Google Form, but with free packages come limitations in what you can do, such as designing your survey or even how you get at the results once you've got all the responses you need. Sometimes these limitations aren't a problem because your survey was pretty simple to start with, but for anything more detailed, you're going to start having issues. Now, many of our videos try to cover free tools, so I'm being a bit cheeky with my recommendation today. If you want a really powerful piece of survey software, use Qualtrics. Qualtrics is a paid for service, even though it does have a 14 day trial option, but, and this is why I'm being a bit cheeky with recommending it, it is free to members of Cambridge University as the lovely people in our IT services have bought an institutional license for everyone to take advantage of. If you're watching this and you're not a member of Cambridge University then sorry. If you are a member of another organisation maybe see if they can invest in a license for you as the package is extremely powerful and is used extensively by brands and companies around the world. When building surveys, Qualtrics gives you a whole range of options to choose from. For example, when deciding what kinds of questions to ask, you can pick simple stuff like multiple choice, or go for something more complicated like a heat map, or even go for something just a little bit different like a sliding scale that uses a smiley face to communicate an emotional response. When you've got your questions laid out, you can put in extra functions like logics so that if someone answers one question a certain way they get a filtered selection of follow-up questions so you can get really specific answers or if they answer in a way that isn't helpful to you you can ping them to the end of the survey thereby saving both your time and theirs this is especially useful if you just want to survey a certain group of people or certain levels of experience as it gives you the chance to cut out any unhelpful responses early on from people who might not fit your criteria. Once you've designed and polished your survey, you can then send it out to people to take. Qualtrics gives you a handy link that you can then pop into emails or share on social media. It also has a bulk email function, but do use this with care, as you can have your account suspended if you spam lots of people at once and also it's just bad manners. If you want to get the best out of your survey responses, take the time to target specific people and promote your survey with tailored invitation emails or messages. As soon as you get all the responses you need, you can deactivate the survey and start crunching the numbers. The back end of Qualtrics is fantastic as it offers a lot of functionality when it comes to analysing your data. You can export everything easily into Excel and you can also create specific reports such as filtering by certain criteria so you can just see people who said yes to that really critical question or you can even filter by demographic if you've captured that data. As well as exporting, Qualtrics lets you create graphs, tables and charts in an instant before you've had to export anything, which might save some time if you just want to get quick snapshots of your data before doing some deeper analysis. Of course, you don't have to do this all alone, as Qualtrics offers lots of collaboration options, so you can add people to your survey so they can help design it with you, or just offer a helping hand with crunching the numbers once the data comes in. You can use Qualtrics for pretty much anything, from market research to just trying to work out why people do things in the way that they do. Remember to keep to ethical guidelines, as well as storing any data you do get in a sensible place, especially if it contains personal data, as you will be bound by legislation such as the Data Protection Act. Unless you really need personal data, try making responses as anonymous as possible to save you from some extra headaches in the future. To register for Qualtrics as a Cambridge University member, get in touch with the University Information Services, there's a link below. And for everyone else, check out Qualtrics's website. There's also tons of guides and walkthroughs there to help get you started. So have fun surveying and until next time, bye!